hey vintage beauty so as you see I have you starting on my Christmas tree we went and got it from Home Depot most of these decorations I bought after Christmas um, last year and I just saved them going to places especially Rite Aid where the stuff is more expensive anyway is better I don't I go to 99 cent store last because their stuff is cheap quality Right aid when they mark they stuff down it be 75 80 percent so you wind up getting boxes and bags and good wrapping paper for less than a dollar so this is my tree i started wrapping some gifts i have more gifts over here to wrap and then of course i'm not finished shopping so i save all the stuff that my children made my son made this in 2009 so he was five years old then my daughter made this in 2011, so she was three. And these are other gifts, gifts and gadgets. We went to um, Color Me Mine, or you know that little place where you make the stuff. These things are heavy, though. And we made this pottery for, we just went one year just to go. And here's my candy bowl. Y'all, why pepper? We left to go I don't know where we went and why pepper dug through the bowl and only ate these y'all she had a preference and these are the butter rum she stole them and ate them what she needs to do is learn how to throw away evidence because we come in she has her head buried behind my husband's chair and we like and all I hear is my husband and kids say, oh, so I look, Pepper, I come in after them, Pepperhead is buried, and there's wrapping paper on the floor. Three of those. She even tried gum, but she didn't like that. So she ate those nips, and when we come in, I guess it was still residue, because you know the nips are um, very, like, hard and chewy. She licking her dang lips. I was so pissed off at her. I, I, I said, Pepper, go, just go. Cause she knows she messed up. She was hiding her head, y'all. Y'all got to see what a dog does when it's um, in trouble. So we're going to have a talk. Today's topic is going to be through my series, 36 and Pregnant. But we're going to talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Being pregnant, okay? And I'm going to be sitting on the floor because I'm going to wrap me some gifts. All right, stay tuned. it was on so hey y'all trying to position this box because I got to get this wrapping paper and you know all my stuff that I'm gonna need in order to get this popping my kids are gone my son has a fight today so we're gonna be you know busy with that I wasn't feeling well so I wind up um, I wind up eating some um drinking this um it's vietnamese style um drink that one of my co-workers gave to me when i tell you it works my husband wasn't feeling well yesterday he took a little and voila he was feeling better so we're gonna get on topic but first let me just give y'all my recap on that fight tyson fury fought his butt off i didn't realize how cool of a guy he was so that made me like him a little more than what I did previously. I didn't really know much about him. But he was a really cool guy. Like after the fight, he was really cool. And I love how they both called out Anthony Joshua sorry. But to me, honestly, my husband per explained it from a judge's perspective and not just a boxing fan perspective. To me, Tyson Fury threw more punches. Um, he was more active and my thing I wanted Deontay Wilder to win It's you know, he's an American keep those belts out here keep that streak going um, But I feel like he relies on that one punch that knocks everybody out And so because he's so focused on that he's not focused on earning points and winning rounds Which Tyson Fury is a beast in himself the tallest opponent that Wilder has ever been with fought against so he needed to think outside of that box he's usually in because Deontay Wilder has never fought an opponent with such stature. 
So Tyson Fury came in there and gave it to Deontay Wilder. That's the first time I saw, saw him tired and winded and leaning on somebody. I mean, he gave it to him. Now, in that fight with the Cuban guy, I keep getting his name mixed up. I think the last name is Diaz or Ortiz. I don't know. I keep getting it mixed up. That dude can fight. Like, I like watching him. Like, he got moves like Muhammad Ali. He punched fast and he 40. Like, give it to him. He can fight. And that was the toughest fight Deontay Wilder had before this fight. So, that's just my spill on that. Let's get on topic, y'all. 36 and pregnant. Now, no, 36 pregnant and having sex. So, if your kids, so you let your kids see the Christmas tree. Like, if you young and stuff, just get up out of here, okay? Um, because I know when you get pregnant in the second trimester, it's you, you be feeling more antsy. You be like, yeah, let's get it, get it. But you got to work around obstacles now. So now this is an obstacle course and you got to work around obstacles because your belly in the way. Okay. And you just not trying to do the same old thing every day. So you still trying to keep it freaky, wicky, wicky with your husband, right? I ain't start rapping nothing yet. Because, girl, this is good. This is some good stuff right here. Y'all take notes. So, you still want to get freaky. So, who's a better person to get some freaky material from? Your mother-in-law. <laughs> My mother-in-law was cleaning out her garage and was like, Shonda, I got some stuff to give you. Like I said, I'm going to cover her unmentionables. This, y'all... Y'all better start looking up Asian stuff, like Asian traditions, Asian rituals, Asian customs. Look it up. They healthy. They don't be having all them problems we have. They look young till they 50, and then once they 51, they look 89. But my point is, they got some Kama Sutra, some techniques, y'all, that are pregnant. You do not have to do the same old, like, you ain't got to get on all fours for this, all right? So, this is old, and a doctor wrote this. Uh, Dr. Kenneth Ray Stubbs, he know what he talking about. And Kyle Spencer drew the pictures. Y'all, this ain't no joke. Kyle know how to draw. Um. Oh, yeah, they got a whole, they, they got a whole bunch of, um, series, Okay. I'm going to show y'all the pictures that I can show y'all. But I want you pregnant women to know that y'all can still get it popping. You can still get it cracking. You can still get that work in. Um, y'all, I can barely show y'all anything. I want to show y'all stuff that's pregnant safe. Like pregnancy safe where you can actually get it in. Um, where your belly is not all in the way. And some stuff your belly not may not be in the way per se, but it's not a good position to be in. And so I'm in my second trimester. I'm five and a half months. So my belly is protruding out. So there are certain things. Okay, let's look at this one. They Oh, this is called the Wheel of Love. Okay, we're going to try to cover her chi-chis. Look at this. Y'all see this? Pregnant women, if you pregnant out there, or you're not pregnant, you got a little extra cushion for the pushing. It ain't nothing wrong with it. Wives, look, show your husband you can still get it on, okay? So any of my uh, my vintage beauties who are pregnant, or any of my vintage beauties who love their um, who love the thickness of their body and embrace who they are and where they are, know that you can still get it in and you can back that thing all the way up. You can even take a nap. Homegirl is napping. She is in La La Dreamland, okay? There go one. That is called The Wheel of Love. I'm going to need y'all to get this book. Some of these, now remember, I'm only talking about stuff that's safe for pregnant women or easy for pregnant women. I'm going to show you this one because this is, this is Ancient Lovers. This is Granny and Grandpa. Now wait, I'm going to show you this. I don't know what they doing. I don't know what they doing. But love making ain't time to touch the heart, y'all. Why they touching each other's heart? It's time to get it in. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't got time for that. That ain't even foreplay. What you doing? What you doing? Huh? Get it in. Why are you touching each other? Come on. Come on. Get it in. Okay, I didn't want to show y'all that because that didn't make no sense to me. Um, secret sexual positions. What are we doing? Thinking? Come on, stop. Now, this one is ancient lovers. Um, yeah, they old. That's why they say ancient. But I'm going to show this because if grandpa and grandma can get it in like this, we can too. Okay, pregnant women? 
And grandma got a belly. I'ma just try to cover her little chitties. These chitties they drew, drew in. But look, grandma got a belly. Grandma comfortable. Grandpa comfortable. Back ain't hurting. You know? So husbands, if you got that hurt back, you know, my husband, he has that hurt back. This is good, because grandpa can do it. So why you can't do it? Look, look at grandpa. Grandpa can do it. Ancient lovers. This let you know. Age, pregnancy, disability, don't stop you from getting it in. Get it in. Um... Yeah, I don't know about this one. This one was just weird. Um. Okay. Here go another one for pregnant women. You know what? This is not even the name of it. But they saying this is great for penetration. This lady can draw, y'all. I'm just trying to cover these chi-chis because I don't want them saying anything. But look at this. Look at this. You see that pregnant women? You see where it's room for the belly? Yeah, now y'all gotta get some kind of bench. I don't have that. Um, yeah, I don't have anything that can just even my. Oh, I just found somewhere. Okay, <laughs> if y'all got one of those long winding couches, yes, you can get it in just like that. Look at him; he is happy. Look at her belly safe. So this is safe for the pregnant belly. You see this, women? Y'all pause this. Pause this so y'all can go and see if this will work. Remember, okay. We trying to overcome some obstacles. Here we go. There you go. Okay, let's find another one. I'm going to show y'all a couple more. Because the point is that during the second trimester of pregnancy, you are not as, um, you're not sick at the end of the day. You're not sick. And so, um, because you're not sick, you are able to enjoy stuff more like you enjoy food more you enjoy going out like the pregnancy is now fun you're not sick so you get these three months even going heading into the fourth the third trimester that's where you really start like everything is getting bigger and swollen and all that but in the second trimester it's easy peasy i say get it in while you can get it in where you can fit it in any type of way hang from a swing if it's strong enough i'm not playing with y'all Pregnancy is not a time to take a break from handling your sexual responsibilities in the bedroom with your husband, women. Okay? Now look at this one. It's so much going on. The chi cheese is the safest to show. I want to make sure y'all can see that. Y'all see that one? Look. Get it in. You see that? Look. Everything exposed. Now this says, um, this is a great position for the female for a full view of what's going on. It slows me down almost to a meditative state. So you meditating while you grinding, okay? And he knows how to please in this position. So I guess it's easier for him to please. I say do you some push-ups. Well, you can't do push-ups pregnant. Do you some arm curls, strengthen those arms because you're going to be relying on those suckers to stay up, okay? Um, so let's scratch this one. They said sometimes this position is very painful, because his his parts can hit an ovary. We don't want nothing hitting nothing while you're pregnant. This one, y'all, right here. Um, this is a G spot pleaser. Ding 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 ding. This one at the top. So this is what we're trying to get in, ladies. And trust me, it's possible while pregnant. It is possible while pregnant. Don't ask me how I know, cause I know. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Yes. Get that in. Okay. Um, y'all want to see a couple more? It's some stuff in here, y'all. I was talking about swing. We can't do that when we're pregnant. We're going to have to, to be continue that. <laughs> okay, because there's some stuff. Pregnant women should not be on swings like that all willy-nilly. Now, this one may work too, y'all. Um, what y'all think? Tell me if you think this one will work. Um, let's see. He got to have pillows. It gets a lot of good spots. The only thing, y'all, he got to be strong and hold you down because you are pregnant. So your equilibrium is a little off. But um, that look fun. Okay? What you, what you say? Don't that look fun, ladies? Don't that look fun? Make sure your toes are done. You don't want no raggedy feet up in his face like that. And y'all looking at each other, talking about, yes, let's get it in. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we can do. 
It's so much we can do as pregnant women. I'm just trying to have y'all spice it up. Here go another one. Now, this will work perfectly for a rolly ball if you have one. Let me just cover her chi cheese. Y'all see this? Because you know YouTube. I don't want them saying nothing. But y'all see this? You know one of those exercise balls, the big ones? Um, those suckers are sturdy. Trust me, it'll work. I don't have one right now. Ask me how I know. Ask my husband. He'll tell you. It'll work. And look, pregnancy safe. Look at the, the um, distance from the stomach. It'll allow you to get it in and roll while you're doing it. Holla! Y'all can't say I ain't never gave y'all nothing because I'm giving you all this tea, all this juice, all this info. Yes, honey. And y'all better let me know if y'all got it in and tried what I told you to try. And husbands, you are welcome. Okay? You are welcome. Because romance is not dead just because your girl is pregnant or she got that boom bump in her stomach. It is not dead. You are welcome, husbands. And I expect you to take your wives out on a nice dinner for pulling out these ancient rituals that keep it cracking in the bedroom. Y'all want to know why them Asians be married today? Seven, they be married 70 years because they drinking that natural tea so they can live longer. And they doing all of this Kama Sutra type stuff. Woo! These Asians get it cracking. <laughs> we better take notes. I'm not going to show you something you already know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This is the thing. How many people want to go get a big old bucket? Get in that sucker? And just make love in the middle of the backyard? I'm just saying. Look at them. They are having... Oh my God, you guys. Okay. They are having, so, I'm going to do it this way. They are having so much fun. A, a swimming pool that's sturdy enough? You can't tell me nothing. We're going to need to explore. That, this couple is in the garden. Shoot. That's probably how Adam and Eve got it on. In the garden. Hello. Y'all. <laughs> I know y'all like, bitches, is the crazy. I ain't crazy. I'm married and I'm young. And I'm going to get it in anyway, okay? Oh, Lord, I hope this is the one video my kids do not watch. Or my mom. My sister that be watching my video, she already know. I ain't got no filter. So, monkey butt, you already know. You already know. You already know. <laughs> Vintage beauties, now you know. So, we come to the end of this. This is just one book. On another topic, I'm going to just show y'all some other stuff my mother-in-law gave me. Now, this stuff is old, so I'm not going to use it. I just like the fact that I got this stuff from my mother-in-law. Okay? Y'all better go check grandma's closet because she got that stuff that keep you married. Okay? So, vintage beauties. <laughs> okay, so did we just have a sex talk? Yes, we did. Did we just have illustrations? Yes, we did. And I tell you guys to get it in on a Sunday. Yes, I did. Praise the Lord. The the bed is undefiled between husband and wife. The bed, the couch, the car, the yard. Just don't get arrested. The chair, the kid's bed if you really want to put it in. Okay? Mm, a swing, a chair, show the pole. Or else a table, the sink, wherever you can get in to fit in, get it in. Okay, did we just have a 15-minute conversation about let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Oh! Another thing. What are... So, you know, I'm a Christian, and I listen to Christian music. What do we have sex to? Whatever we want! <laughs> like... Do music make you not want to get it in? Like, we just turn up the TV so the kids won't hear. But when it's time to get it in, you sing your own song if you have to. But if you want to listen to love-making songs, do it. If it gets you in a better mood, me, I like beats. Beats help me grind. I don't need nobody else singing me nothing because I'm a grown woman. I know what I'm doing. I like beats, baby. Beats. Slow, melodic beats. I'm not trying to do no hip-hop beats because we ain't trying to be boom, 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 boom. That's not fun sex. <laughs> I like slow, melodic beats that you can really show that you know how to grind and move. And trust me, my husband likes it too. So... 
<laughs> I can't believe I did this, y'all, but I did, and I'm happy I did, okay? So anyway, it's your girl, Vintage Sister. Take, stay tuned, okay? I'm thinking about going thrifting today, but my son got a fight, like I said. Um, so I'm just going to wrap these presents because I didn't do nothing. All this time I was sitting here, but tell y'all how to get it in. Once again, you are welcome, okay? Uh, if you ain't too shame and you ain't too proud, please hit your sister up and let her know what you tried tonight. I hope all y'all get it in tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Husbands, watch this with your wives so you can learn what she needs to learn. So you can instruct her like that ain't what the illustration said, boo. Rewind, vintage sister. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Why am I so hype? I just thank God I'm alive. I thank God for my life, my health, and my strength. And most importantly, I thank God that I can get it in. Ah.